My name is Andy Hancock and I'm a Senior Consultant at Galazzo Consulting. Probably 15, 20 years ago, brands used to tell a very functional story. So you would be whiter than white, or you'd be faster than fast, or you'd be sweeter than sweeter. And I think uh, these days, and they would tell that story to thousands of people via large media, television, ad campaigns, and so forth. I think in this day and age, you, a lot of brands are trying to get their story out there via a network. They're trying to get somebody else to tell their story for them. And I think sponsorship, whether you're associated with a personality, with a team, with a club, with a federation, with an, with an event. I think brands have got smart to telling their story via a third party, uh, via the third party's ne uh, digital network, via a third party's social media. Firstly, a lot of us see the big sponsorships. We see the big brands out there with the football federations, with the Olympic Games, with the FIFA World Cup, with cycling, all these massive, massive projects. Um, so I think that's what people see and hear about in terms of, of, of sponsorship. But the reality is, is there are hundreds of thousands of smaller sponsorships, which are happening on local levels, which are happening with charities, which are happening with VZVs, -Vs, ASBLs, small football clubs, junior football teams, small music festivals, um, all sorts of different uh, uh, levels. And I think that sponsorship works as well on a, on a smaller level on as a big level. I think the most important is knowing as a brand, as a company, what, what objective you're trying to get out of sponsorship. Well, I think that there are a number of developments today which are in their infancy stages in terms of sponsorship. Uh, firstly is the sponsorship of women's sport. Women's sport globally has taken on a, 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 a new mantra. It's become more popular. It's getting a lot more media coverage. There are some stars coming out of a women's sport. There always have been in terms of women's sport for individual sports like tennis. But if you look at something like football, which is the biggest global sport in the world and attracts the most sponsorship dollars or sponsorship euros, then you see that women's sport is, is massively growing. I think next to that eSports, and, and again I'm talking about sport uh, because sport is 80% of the global sponsorship business, eSports again uh, is, is uh, an area where, which is still greatly understood by, by a number of people and not many sponsors who are, in my opinion, really getting into it and leveraging it in the way that they would a traditional sports. But you are seeing an increasing number of deals and an increasing number of brands getting into, into eSports. I think another area we're seeing as well is the um, what I would call the integration and activation, everything that is corporate well-being. As we see in many companies, in, uh, particularly in Europe, corporate well-being and the wellness of employees is a, uh, is a, is a huge trend. But I think lastly um, is the way sponsorship is being measured. Uh, traditionally sponsorship was about a logo on a, uh, a, a football shirt or a logo on a, on a sign or on an invitation to a music festival and trying to, trying to value how much that sponsorship was worth in advertising dollars. Well, as sponsorship has become more about content and probably more about brand personality than actually just sticking your logo out there, even though that's still important and sponsors are still looking for it, the way you measure sponsorship is therefore mood. And we're looking more at qualitative sponsorship now. What are people thinking about brands through sponsorship? What is their, would they recommend the brand because of the sponsorship? What is the NPS score of the brand through sponsorship versus the standard NPS score? And taking your sponsorship measurement and putting it alongside your brand tracker and seeing where sponsorship is having an effect.